Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys my bun tutorial. You guys have been wanting to see how I did my bun since my last tutorial. I think it was, um, yeah, it was my last tutorial. And I just wanted to come on here and show you guys really quickly. I've been out all day long. I was at my nephew's party and my, my makeup's like super old, so... But I hope you guys enjoy this. This is my bun I had in all day today. So I'm basically just going to take it down and I'm going to do my baby hairs for you guys and show you how I do it basically. Um, as you guys know, I used to be natural, but that went out the window about, it was probably like two weeks ago. No, it was a week ago. And I relaxed my hair because... I feel as though it's just easier for me to maintain and it's just easier for me to maneuver around and I get a sleeker, straighter look. Even though I look crazy right now, I want to kind of talk about this right now. So yes, I relaxed my hair and I plan on relaxing my hair probably about, um, probably every, once every four months. I'm going to try to stretch it that far. Um, if I can't, I'll do it once every three months and I'm just going to touch up the roots. So um, I actually really like my hair. I've been relaxed in the past, but I was natural for a whole year and it was the struggle of my life. Like the struggle is real. Being natural is not easy, especially if you have really, really thick, coarse hair. And I just couldn't put my hair in a bun. It wouldn't look sleek and straight like I wanted it to. So um, that was just my choice personally. Even if I straightened it out, it would still be frizzy. I would straighten my hair um, one day and that same day I would go outside and it would just poof up. And I'm like, I think I'm just going to go back. I did natural. I was natural for a whole year. I feel like I put my best effort in. <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't do it anymore. So since my hair is already sleek and straight up, what do I do? If I'm gonna pretend what I would do if my hair was like frizzy in a mess not frizzy anymore but if it was like a mess I would just use this brush to comb out like the knots and stuff like this make it sleek and smooth in the back okay just brush out all the knots and the craziness and then I would take my eco styler gel I would put it in my hand rub my hands together and go like this just put it all up and then I would take my paddle brush and brush my hair all the way up. So the reason why my, like I said before, the reason why my hair looks so different in my videos is because my hair is now permanently straightened. And my edges lay better and everything. But like I said, everyone is not going to be a natural and everyone is not going to like to be relaxed. Like I said, naturals don't come for me because this is my choice and I love my relaxed hair. As long as it's healthy, that's all I care about. After I brush up the Eco Styler Gel, I would just put my hair in a ponytail, use like a, what do you call these, hair ties? And just put my hair, I kind of got to lean down, put my hair in a bun like this make it really tight well not really tight but tight enough to where you can feel it make sure all your hairs in the back are straight up if you are natural you can try tying your hair up like doing this at night and tying your hair up so your edges kind of lay as flat as possible and the back lays as flat as possible so yeah you can tie it up like do this at night this part at night and then just tie it up after this part I just take my natural hair my real hair not natural anymore and just kind of twist it like make a twist not a braid you can braid it you can braid it or twist it it doesn't matter my twist didn't really work you basically basically just want to put your hair in a bun so put your own hair in a bun and ugh, that has hair on it I'm just gonna take my rubber band and put that over it so like that it's like a messy bun right now so now you're gonna take your wefted hair this is one bundle of hair you can take old hair that you 
um, uninstalled but as long as it's like one piece because one piece is just easier to do so um, I just take one piece of hair I take a okay I keep dropping everything just take a closed bobby pin like this and you put it like right so this is the weft right you put the bobby pin right on the end of it not too close to the end of it but right there to hold the weft together you just put the weft I put it in like in this part of my hair and not the bottom so that it doesn't strain and pull on my hair throughout the day so I just put it literally right in the bun inside the bun and then I just start twisting the hair around and you want to flip this hair so the first like little round that you do you want to flip this hair up and go underneath so you want to take the hair on the outside so just go around So then you want to take another bobby pin and you want to pin, you're going to want to pin the lash, the little part of the end of the track down into your bun like that so that it stays. So now you have like a little ponytail at this point and you just want to brush it out. And I think this hair is 22 inches long. So I know you guys are going to ask. So just keep brushing it out to make sure there's no spots that are tangled. And a wig brush works the best for weave. So now this is the part that makes your bun have a lot of texture. So basically what I'm going to do is separate the hair into two pieces. And I'm going to wrap, twist the hair together. I'm going to do it really tight as tight as possible so I'm just twisting the hair so I'll just twist so twist it all the way down to the end do it as tight as you can because when you put the rubber band on the end is going to loosen up so I'm gonna take a rubber band put it on the end of the hair you want to start wrapping the hair around so you can either take the hair this way oh I like it better that way so you're gonna to have to play with the hair and see which way you want to take it around this way the bun kind of lands over here so I'm not gonna do it that way today so I'm gonna take the bun this way and just wrap it around and your bun is always going to come out different than the first time or it's going to come out different every time because it's like a top knot it's just going to be different every time and you just want to take some pins and pin down the hairs that act crazy basically and you can fluff it out if you want to but that's basically um how I do my top knots and you just want to fluff it out and I like mine kind of messy not too straight and you know structured this technique it's really hard for you to mess up this messy top knot bun so um, it always comes out looking really good. So this is the way I've done it for a while now. So let's just get to the baby hairs because I know you guys are like, oh my God, your baby hairs. Like I said, the only reason why they laying like that is uh, because I got a relaxer. So I'm going to take my flat toothbrush. You want to take a toothbrush that is flat. And this one is flat. It doesn't have like all the ridges and stuff on it. I'm going to take my... Hicks edge control and I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush since I'm relaxed I don't need a lot of edge control if you're natural like I was using like this whole container okay I'm lying I wasn't using this whole container but I was using a lot so all I do for my edges everyone's hairline is different 
so um, you'll have to play around with your baby hairs and stuff like that but all I do is take my brush dip it in a little bit in the edge control and I start from here so start here and I brush my edges down it's really hard to explain because I just kind of do it and then I take a little bit more and just brush these edges back you can do little designs if you want to but There's that part, and I'm going to do the front part of my baby hairs as well. So before you leave for the day, I would suggest just wrapping your hair up with a hair tie, or you can cut the bottom of a t-shirt and use that to wrap just over your edges and the back of your hair so that it lays really flat. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for all of the support and love that you've been giving me. Stay tuned, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because there will be giveaways in the near future. I have so many things in store for you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and it helped helped you and I do want to say I'm feeling a certain type of way because everybody's at IMATS and I'm here like but I'm so excited to tell you guys that I will be at IMATS New York in April and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I officially bought my tickets um, two weeks ago but I just keep forgetting to mention it so I'm so excited this is my first time going to IMATS and I can't wait to meet all you guys and actually connect with you guys in person i'm so excited let me know down below if you're going to be at i met new york city i just can't what? that's basically it guys i'm sorry to ramble but i just feel like i haven't connected with you guys in a while so let me know down below if you'll be at i met new york thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon see you later bye